It looks like everybody that is going to join has, so let's start. Um, so today's webinar is regarding user replacement for Windchill. So if we just have a quick look at the agenda for it. So um, I'm going to do a quick introduction of myself as well as the boundary systems, discussing then the topic itself, a very quick demonstration on um, user replacement and then we'll have a session for questions and answers. Before we carry on with that, I'm going to have a quick poll just to make sure everybody can hear me. Okay, so it looks like everybody can hear me fine, so let's carry on. So my name is Johan Stradom. I'm a Senior Technical Specialist here at Boundary Systems. I've got more than 20 years experience using the PTC product range and I'm also certified as a Winchell implementer and trainer. I've also got some other um, PTC product knowledge like ThingWorks, Navigate, interlink as well as some of the Creo product range. So let's have a look at um, boundary systems. So we are seen as technology leaders. We have a lot of partners, uh, PTC obviously being the main one, um, but also having other partners like C uh, Solid Thinking, Etrage, e uh, Autoday um, and others. We also have several customers on the right hand side that we deal with, some very well known ones and I think there's also a couple of, a couple of you connected now. But we also have other capabilities in, internally where we can do product lifecycle management, data management, um, we can also do consulting and design work on CAD, um, simulation as well as product development. Um, Boundaries Systems is also um, have won several awards um, and um, multiple accreditations, mo most of them being PTC related. So we are a platinum partner. We are certified Winchell implementers and service providers as well as training partners for PTC. I mentioned earlier on that we our main partner is PTC, but you can see in the bottom area, we have several other partners that we uh, deal with very, very often. So if you need to contact me for any technical questions um, after the webinar, my, as I mentioned, my name is Johan Stradom and my email address is jstradom at boundarysys.com. For any sales inquiries, you can email sales at boundarysys.com, but also visit our website and our YouTube channel where all of these webinars are recorded and available on our YouTube channel. Before we carry on, I've got two other quick polls that I'd like you guys to have a look at.
Okay, so it looks like everybody who has joined um, are using Winchell and the majority of you guys are either system or business administrators. So that's definitely the correct audience for what we will be showing you. So what is the current requirement to replace a user in Winchell? So usually you need to find all the groups that a user is part of. And that's usually not that difficult. You can go to the participant administrator, select on the current user, and you'll be able to see all the groups that the user is part of. So that's usually not too difficult to do. You can create a new user, add him to the same groups, and remove the old user. When it becomes a little bit more difficult is if those users are added to a team manually. So they're not part of a group, so they are in the team as a role specifically on its own. So that can be very time consuming um, to do. So this little utility that I'll be showing you today is a very quick way to plain simply replace a user all over the complete system with a new or a different user. So let's have a quick look. So currently I'm logged in as two users. Um, so this is my one. You will see there at the top, it is vendor. You will also see that this vendor user has got a workflow task assigned. I can also have a look at all the projects. So you can see this person is part of two projects. Um, so it, the, the person definitely has um, access to several bits of information, also part of two products. Okay, so that's my one user that I will be using. Then if we look, have a look at my second one, so in my other web browser, you will notice that I've got another user called vendor rep. So that's the one I will be replacing um, or replacing with. But you can see there's no workflow tasks and this user is not part of any products or libraries or projects. Okay. So then the utility itself, it runs on the Winchell server and to be able to use it, you must also authenticate with a Winchell administrator. So that makes it very secure to make sure that nobody can just go in the back end and go and fiddle with information um, and change people out. So they, firstly, it's on the Winchell server, so the person will need access to that. And secondly, um, you have to authenticate with an administrator to, to be able to do that. So that's my utility over there. Very simple user interface, asking me for a username and password. So in my case, it's just my Winchell administrator and submit. Okay, it will then authenticate. I can, you can see it's all blank, so I can say, get me the list of organizations. So if there are multiple organizations defined in the system, they will all be listed over here. So I just have one, and then I can say, go and fetch me all the users in this organization. Okay, and there's my list of the users. So in my case, I want to replace the user called vendor with the user called vendor rep. So when vendor replacement, hit the button. And it will pop up to say that the replacement was successful. Okay. Um, I can also now from here log out to make sure that even if somebody gets access to the server, they can't just use the utility again. So it's still secure. So if we go back to the web browser and have a look, so still logged in as this vendor rep user where there was no tasks. I'm just going to refresh the page and you can see now 
the workflow is assigned where there was nothing before and if I look at things like product list it was empty the products are now there and the projects are now there whereas if I now jump back to my old user vendor same thing that person had the task assigned before if I refresh the vendors web home page you will notice that the task has now disappeared and the vendor also doesn't have access to any projects or products anymore so that's as quick and simple it is to replace one user with another one as well as all the tasks <coughs> that is currently running so even if there is currently a workflow process that is running there's no need to go and um, manually try and select new people all of that is automatically transferred across to the new user so if somebody leaves the company um, and somebody else takes it over you can very quickly swap over all of the information from one user to another one without any difficulties So once again, um, as I mentioned, if you have any technical questions, you can email me at jstradum at boundaries.com. Any sales questions, sales at boundaries, and or visit our website or our YouTube channel where this will also be uploaded very soon. Um, I will wait for a couple of minutes just for any questions, if there are any. So I have one question about is this a boundary system tool? It is a tool that one of our partners create that we do um, resell, yes. Okay, if there's no more questions, then thank you very much for your time and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.